The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany Thomas with the Oracle Applications Users Group. Welcome everyone to OEG's Collaborate 19 preview session. Today's e-learning session is titled, Let the Excitement Continue, Meet the New and Modern 12.2 EBS. OEG will host over 500 sessions on topics pertinent to the Oracle applications of today and tomorrow, such as this one at Collaborate on April 7th through 11th at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center in San Antonio, Texas. One week is all you need. To claim the lowest available rates, please register today by going to collaborate.oeg.org. Uh, before we get started, I would like to go over a couple of housekeeping items. We will be on mute throughout the presentation. If you would like to ask a question, Please type it into the question box in your control panel at any time. Once the presentation has concluded, I'll read back the question so the presenter can respond. We are recording this session and it will be available on the OEG website later today. I would like to introduce your presenter, Bill Dunham, Principal at OATC, Inc. Take it away, Bill. Um, thank you, Tiffany. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining today. Um, our session is going to be uh, quick. We're going to actually cover probably about 90 slides in about 15 minutes. And what I've done is actually uh, scaled that those 90 down to, let's say, about 40. So I'm going to, without further ado, I'm going to get started here. Um, so the title of this is Let the Excitement Begin, uh, Meet the New and Modern EBS UI. Uh, the focus is going to be around the user interface and improve it. And, um, and let me just keep moving here, okay? All right, so this is the abstract. Uh, hopefully you all had a chance to review this. I am not gonna read this verbatim. Um, this, a lot of the slides in this presentation has come from an Oracle presentation that was that open world. Um, I've actually, uh, add, uh, I'll say, added to those and changed them and improved them, if you will. Um, a little bit about OATC. We've been doing this stuff for a long time. Many of you know us from our presentations at uh, the Collaborate Sessions over the years. Um, the sessions that we're going to be doing at uh, Collaborate 19, um, we are going to be very busy while we are there. Um, these are our sessions uh, throughout the week. Um, the agenda, we're going to talk about some new features, uh, kind of the roadmap. We'll point this out. Uh, some of you may or may not be aware of the timeline. Hopefully you are aware. Uh, we'll talk about some of the OAF uh, new features, the Alpha UI, uh, and then basically features improvements. Um, and then talk a little bit about personalization changes, which is a, a very good change for uh, end users or power users that do personalization. And then we'll kind of wrap up. So this, is, this will be going fairly quickly. Um, some new things. Um, this is the, the roadmap many, many of you uh, hopefully have seen. And this is a, kind of where Oracle uh, is saying how far they can see out. So uh, EBS is here to stay. It's going to be around for a number of years to uh, you know, 22030 and beyond. Um, this is just, again as far as Oracle wants to look at this time. Um, as far as one of the interesting points of this whole presentation, um, Oracle uh, presented this slide, and I've kind of highlighted uh, the first section of it where it talks about OA framework is the primary technology stack for EBS applications. Um, you'll you'll notice, and some of you may have seen. Over the last few years, we're getting more and more trans transition from the old professional forms to the framework forms. And this is uh, well pointed out here by making this uh, statement on this slide. Okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the, the Alta UI, the simplified login page. It's uh, something important. Um, homepage, global headers, uh, some of the just simplified things that make your lives easier when using and logging into Oracle. And Oracle applications and uh, using icons and things like that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the rich components and features of uh, uh, menuing and tables and pop up and attachments, uh, the touch gestures, um, and then some new uh, other improvements called the info tile, which is uh, the numbers on your kind of like a dashboard. We'll talk a little bit about flex fields and then uh, OAF table integration. Okay. Um, so the new UI, basically, it's, it's a, a, a major change in look and feel. And you'll notice, uh, depending if you've used any of the cloud applications, the cloud applications, uh, PeopleSoft, use some of these other products, they kind of all have that same look and feel. So the off the UI should not be new to you. Um, it, it very well could be if you're on an older release of the application. Um, it is a uh, design for mobile first. Uh, it keeps layout simple and uncluttered, provides clear information 
uh, hierarchy and then basically it's more engaging and visually pleasing. It's, it's a very nice change. Um, this is the simplified login page. Um, this login page is new as of uh, 1225. Um, the uh, OA uh, login page that we we have currently in 1213 basically is replaced by this. Um, and on this, you cannot do any personalization on this form. This form has to be customized. And that is uh, per an Oracle uh, support note. Okay, so if anybody has interest in customizing, they can certainly do that. Um, just some simplified things that, uh, you know, kind of make things look life, look uh, nice and, and, and uh, easy to get to. Um, what we have here are these touch-friendly icons. Um, this is all coming through a, a profile or preference change that uh, can be set individually. So you will have the ability to have these icons on your desktop for, for favorites or tablet for favorites. Um, the, there is a customizable announcement section. Uh, you can see here in the, in the white uh, box. And then that favorite icon where you can actually add uh, your favorites uh, uh, to add new favorites to your, your desktop. You easily click on that if you're on a page or if you want to add a new one. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a sec. Um, this pagination. So if you fill up, if you have so many icons on your landing page, um, you'll have the ability to slide left and right. Um, basically, as you do with your, you know, if you have an iPhone today or a smartphone, you're using to scroll up and down on your, um, your icons or your apps. This is the, the same feature on that, that home page. Um, one thing that's pretty cool, and you can see I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but one thing that's cool, you can now add the instance name. Uh, and uh, this is helpful. Um, this is one way to detect that you're in a test and you're not in production. Okay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the look and feel, you'll see here, these are screenshots from J.D. Edwards, PeopleSoft, and HCM Cloud. Has a lot of look and feel very similar to uh, EBS. Okay. So that same auto UI is being shared across the multiple platforms, okay? So let's continue here. So back to um, the simplified homepage. Uh, this is the announcement section that can be customized. You can put you know, daily announcements in there if that's important to you. Um, again, uh, this is a simple preference change to have this look and feel. Um, this here is, um, what we're gonna do here is this star is, represents uh, the favorite icon. And uh, as you may do today, you can add favorites throughout the application suite. Um, you'll be able to click on the, uh, the pencil in the lower left corner and add your favorites. Okay, just a, another nice little neat feature. Um, this is your, your work list. So as you would log into 1213 and you have your responsibilities on the left hand side, you've got your work list on the right hand side. When you're using this icon in this simplified framework, you can actually see your work list by clicking on that icon where those numbers are, that 99 plus. Um, if you want to see the full list, you can click on the full list at the bottom and it brings you to your full list of some items that you need to work on. Okay, so another nice new feature. Um, some, something to point out here, I have this uh, box in the lower left corner here. Um, that, that box is um, uh, showing you the icons and text. And you'll notice that this screen on the right, it only has the icon. So you can actually use uh, icon, you can use text, or you can use both. And this top, uh, the bottom left uh, uh, diagram here, or image, um, is showing you both, okay? Um, just some new, new things that uh, we feel are cool. I, I'm not gonna talk about all these in detail. I really do not have time. For the top level menu, you have the springboard menu, which will show you. Uh, tables, so in your framework form, the ability to detach, refresh, uh, your column reordering, resizing, this is all within this new UI. Um, age grid components, um, the pop-up uh, support, which is very cool and nice, uh, the, addition, the, the addition of flex fields, that's something that's new to us as well. And then uh, a little bit, we'll talk about, we'll talk a little bit about the attachments as well. So I'm gonna keep rolling here. So this is your springboard menu. You'll see at the top your colorful uh, icons which is very cool. Um, here, uh, if I could continue, uh, you just turn those on and off. So you can do icons and links, or you can just do icons. It's up to you. These replace those little tabs that you may see today, okay? Um, table enhancements, we talked a little bit about these. Um, you'll have the ability to click on the, um, on the, the, the first arrow there on the left. Uh, that will actually detach the visual that you're seeing there on the screen and bring it forward to you in its own little window, showing you more information on that screen. Uh, you'll have the ability to do a refresh, um, very, very nice, a refresh or requery. 
So this is nice as well. You don't have to, you know, do a uh, go out and come back in again or do a re-execute query. You just press that button and it will refresh the data below. Okay. Um, here, the ability to scroll up and down, left and right in the windows, this is nice. You don't have to do that next page and, and, and things like that. This, you can just scroll right down the full list that's been returned to you in the query. Um, the column freeze, this is nice. You'll see that blue line on the left. Uh, um, that shows us the first three columns have actually been frozen. So those are going to stay, just like you do in Excel today. Those first few columns would actually remain, so you can scroll left and right and look at other relative data for that row you happen to be looking at. Okay, it's a very nice feature. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is your the, the confirmation dialog uh, in 1213. That confirmation dialog is on the bottom of the screen. Um, it's nice, but this is even better. It actually prompts you and shows you that uh, as a pop-up uh, on the screen where you're at. It doesn't. You don't have to scroll down to see it. It pops it up right in front of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep rolling here. So the attachments, this is very cool. Um, attachments, there's a nice little pop-up window. You can add attachments. You can add these attachments to um, your catalog internally. Uh, you can add the same and similar attachments that you do today, um, but that window is actually pops up and lands in front of you uh, versus uh, uh, going off into another section of the application. Um, tablet gestures. So when you're on a tablet, you can actually scroll left and right uh, using your finger. You can scroll up and down, left or right. You can actually hold a column and move it to the right. So you kind of get that ability to do a reorder. Okay, very nice feature. Okay, um, this to do a query, you just pull down with your finger and it would actually refresh. Okay, um, this is a very cool feature of the, the ability to actually um, uh, render uh, data that you're seeing on the screen. So that left image, you click on the Excel icon and it actually will render that data in Excel. You get one little pop-up uh, pop window, you acknowledge that you want to do it, and boom, it's in Excel. Very nice feature. Okay, personalizations. I think from here, uh, major changes in the personalization area. You still need to turn them on as you do today. Um, if we take a, a quick peek, you'll see um, if you go into the application um, from a personalization, personalization standpoint, you still need to activate as you do today. It's going to be a WYSIWYG uh, format and something that is uh, very different than what you, uh, you deal with today. But it's a lot easier and easier uh, to maintain by having that visual. Um, one thing we're pointing out here is on the favorites, um, you'll see where it says contractors. I'm trying to get my mouse over there. It's not cooperating with me. Um, but the contractors uh, section is actually a star there on the screen. That star means you can add this page to your favorites list by just cl uh, clicking on that star. Okay. Um, once you do that, you'll have that on your favorites list. Um, the date and time picker, this is very cool. It's a much easier, nice uh, looking feel um, uh, for picking date and times. Um, the uh, theme editor, um, this is very helpful. So you can add the instance name, and then also you can actually do things to set up your, your uh, themes. So using functional administrator, you, you navigate to themes and you can go in and change the color scheme uh, of your instance. So if you wanted to change your color scheme of your non-production, you wanted to have bright green for you know devs and, and you wanted to have red for test, you could do that. Very nicely done. And it is a setting that is um, uh, uh, systemic. It's a, you make this change, it's set for everybody. It's not individual, okay? Um, I know I've gone kind of quick and uh, I do want to make sure that uh, I do reference uh, the presentations where I pulled some of this information from. Uh, and you'll see at the bottom, I have uh, client projects noted. Um, you know, we've been uh, working with 12.2.8 now for, uh, since its release, and, um, and UI improvements that Oracle has provided are, are fantastic. It's uh, being well received by many users, and uh, we're excited to where EBS is heading and these new framework changes, and um, it's uh, an improvement that uh, has been lagging for a number of years, and it's probably one of the best improvements that Oracle has made for EBS UI in a, in a number of years. Um, okay, uh, Tiffany, I'm going to open it up to questions. I think we only have uh, maybe a couple of minutes left. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Bo. Um, so if you have any yeah. questions, please type those questions in the chat box or the question box, which is located at the bottom of the control panel. And while we're, while we're waiting for questions to come in, Bill, can mm -hmm. you give us some yeah. insight into um, how has it been for you in past collaborates? just attending as an attendee and as a presenter? 
Um, you know, it's um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been involved with uh, OEG collaborate session or collaborate events for a number of years. Um, it's uh, certainly probably the uh, only place where you can have that connectivity to uh, like-minded individuals that are you know looking for answers or solutions to you know their you know day-to-day -day, uh, EBS problems. Um, you know, there's uh, you get, Open World does not do that. Uh, OEUG Collaborate 19 or Collaborate events are the place to be uh, for uh, Oracle Apps, uh, EBS users, and then cloud users for that matter. I mean, we have a lot of great sessions and uh, encourage people to, to attend. Thank you so much, Bill. Um, again, uh, early bird registration is quickly approaching, so we highly encourage you to visit the collaborate.org site um, um, to uh, take advantage of that. And also, if you want to learn more about this topic, we highly encourage that you visit the apps.attendcollaborate.com and search Bill Session, which is session 10. 804 um, and you'll be able to add this session to your agenda. This concludes another great e-learning session. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. Thanks again, Bill. Yeah, thank you. Take care now. Yeah. Yeah, bye.